And when I took it even a step further, it's like, it doesn't matter what I do with my hair. I still not going to look like anybody else that You know, last month made 10 years since I got a haircut, right? And when I was going through that process, people were saying, well, Jerome, you, you, you got to be careful. You're going to mess up your career. I mean, you got a bright future here, but it, if you do certain things, it might impact your ability to continue to progress here. And my thought immediately was, well, what exactly am I getting these haircuts for, right? Uh, am I getting them because it makes me more approachable? Do I look neater? Like, what is it about my coiled hair that is a challenge? And it's like, well, you know, none of the men that are in the positions that you aspire to have hair that's past your shoulders. Okay, well, I'll keep my hair above my shoulders if that's what I need to do in order to be accepted here. But, you know, what, what else? Is there anything else wrong with what I'm doing? Is, and so we kept going down that path. And what I realized is, no, you, you need to cut it because that's what other people have done. And you need to look like other people in order to get to the place that they're in. And then I started to peel the layers. And at that particular company, there was one African-American executive. And then there were two. And then there was one again after the recession. And I thought to myself, wow. Um, so I've got to be the one out of the 17,000 people that work here. Does that make sense? And when I took it even a step further, it's like, it doesn't matter what I do with my hair. I still not going to look like anybody else that I'm going into any of these meetings with. So what difference does it make if my hair is long, short, whether I have hair on my face or don't like none of those things actually matter. What matters is my character and the value that I bring to the table.